Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. My name is AJ and today we are going to be talking about nine things that you maybe probably didn't know about appetite. If you knew about them, let me know in the comments. Appetite is a stone of mystics, seers, travelers, and dreamers. This magical healing stone lends its properties to the psychic eye promoting visions and enhancing lucid dreaming. It incites astral projection, drawing back the veil so that one can communicate with spirits and guides of all sorts. Appetite stimulates the mind and feeds the spirit. It opens the throat chakra, and for such a truly captivating stone, you may not have heard all that there is to hear about it. So here are nine things that you didn't know about appetite. Number one, the origins of appetite. Named for its deceptive appearance in its resemblance to other stones, and despite not having been officially discovered uh, until recently, appetite has interesting roots in Greek mythology. The name appetite itself is derived from the Greek word apatan, which means cheating or to be wrong, it is named after the Greek goddess Apate, daughter of Nyx, uh, and the personification of fraud, or rather who was the personification of fraud, deception, trickery, and dishonesty. Apatan is one of the evils inside of Pandora's box. <laughs> Now, of course, don't let that discourage you from using appetite in your crystal healing practices. That really derives from the deceptive appearance of this stone and its resemblance to other stones. Now, appetite. Number two, appetite. The witch's fire. Although it was only discovered at the end of the 18th century and named by mineralogist A.G. Werner, the first mention of appetite was made in 1767 when naturalist Pedro Francisco de Vila identified it as a phosphoric stone. In Spain, there is a legend that surrounds such a stone recounting of witches that met in the Circon de Brujas, or Witches Circle. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> it is said that a witch discovered the ore of one dark, uh, on one dark winter night. She <clears throat> pulverized the stone between her fingers to scatter it upon the embers of her hearth. This invoked thousands of suffering souls from purgatory which swarmed above the embers with a phosphorescent eyes that reflected the greenish glow of internal sulfur, the thickest piece of powder resembling precious emeralds. Now that's something. <laughs> Number three, apatite stone is literally a stone of the mind. The apatite ore is the main source of phosphorus and phosphate, and the only ore that is found inside the human, uh, the bodies rather, of humans and animals. While apatite ore is found mainly inside the teeth and the nails, there is a crystalline bone within human beings. This bone is made up of apatite and is found within the uh, endocrine gland, which is located right between the two hemispheres of the brain. That's pretty interesting. Number four. Appetite, the stone of Gaia. Contrary to popular belief, the first Greek goddess, uh, the first god was a goddess, rather <laughs> should I say, Gaia, mother of the earth and all creation. As many of her cultures are, so are her names. Uh, rather, as many as there are cultures, there are also so many names to uh, to talk about the goddess Gaia. In Egypt, she was Isis. To the Sumerians, she is Inanna. To the Hindus, she is Bumi Devi. Bumi Devi. Bumi Devi. Bumi. Not, uh, forgive, forgive my pronunciation on that one. Bumi Devi. Bumi Devi. Maybe it's a silent B. Anyway, whenever, whatever you know her as, she is undeniably the source of magic in the world. Some would associate appetite with the Mother Earth for uh, rather for its popular hues of blues and greens. Although it comes in various colors, blues and greens are the most common. This association is possibly derived from the stone's ability to connect one's higher realms, or rather connect one to the higher realms, as well as its relationship with the etheric planes. All right, number five, <laughs> appetite is the stone of life. Q 
Curiously enough, with this association to Mother Earth, appetite was long since used as fertilizer for crops. As its main uh, source is rather, it is the main source of phosphorus, which is a main nutrient required for plant growth. As appetite or phosphate rocks are mined uh, exclusively for the purpose of fertilizing soil. Stone of life, there we go. Interesting. Number six, appetite is the perfect partner stone. In mythology, many beliefs surround this magical stone, yet perhaps one of the most fascinating is the belief that wearing this stone in jewelry paired with another crystal can invoke different things. When paired with rose quartz, for example, appetite will bring about unconditional love. And when paired with clear quartz, it will allow the wearer to see things that they may need to change in their life. When paired with aquamarine, it will help to provide the wearer with the necessary tools to go ahead and make positive changes in their life. Number seven, appetite is a prehistoric treasure. Appetite is the name given to many phosphorus stones, but few are actually of gemstone quality. Since it is only crystal ore that can be found in both, rather the only crystal ore that can be found in both animals and humans, it is not so surprising that appetite stone we know today comes from bones. Uh, or is it? Research has found that those fascinating stones actually come from fossilized dinosaur bones. Uh, appetite, number eight, appetite as the celestial communicator. As mentioned earlier, appetite is the stone of the third eye and can open portals to thin the veil between life and other things unseen. Whilst it builds connection with the divine and allows for communication with spirit guides, that is not quite the type of celestial communication that uh, is meant. Some say that the stone may be able to build a connection with those uh, extraterrestrial uh, beings, perhaps those, uh, perhaps because of its far-reaching abilities. Rather, we're talking about aliens and UFOs here. <laughs> uh, number nine, appetite as a physical healer. Aside from its many metaphysical properties, <laughs> appetite is also a stone that helps that offers a range of physical healing benefits. As its association with bones and teeth, it can naturally help to strengthen those areas of the body. It is also great for di the digestive system and speeding up of metabolism, and even aiding in the relief of arthritis pain and osteo. Pop up porosis. <laughs> if you have. All right, I'm I'm out of here for a while. I'm tripping over my words. I'll see you guys and gals, guys and gals in the next uh, in the next uh, video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out our Rock and Crystals Gemstone Shop. Link in the description below. We have some great crystals and some great great prices. Check it out. Okay, have a great day.